Uh, this next guy coming to the stage, I'm excited to see him here. I haven't seen him before. Everyone give it up for Steven G. Yeah. What's up, guys? How many potheads in the house? Yeah. That weed's getting stronger, y'all. Shit, I used to be an old school smoker, y'all, like buds only. And then I started fucking with the concentrates. Y'all fuck with the concentrates? Yeah. That shit's crazy. I smoked some shit called Shattered the other day. Fucking shattered on myself. <laughs> shit was fucked up. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, but I've been really into some shit called RSO. Y'all fuck with RSO? It's called Rick Simpson oil. Yeah. Let me give you the rundown. This dude cured himself of cancer with marijuana, right? It's this tart-like substance. Tastes like shit, but it fucks you up bad. Thousand milligrams, y'all. I swear to God, I was asleep for a week. And I barely woke up two days ago dressed like this. <laughs> Fucking Roscoe shirt and Crocs. Um, I'm at the age now where I'm comfortable wearing Crocs. Uh, I'm 33. Uh, I'm fucking getting older, y'all. Uh, you know how I know I'm getting older? Everything gives me fucking heartburn. Like I was eating pizza the other day. That shit gave me heartburn. I ate chocolate a few days ago. That shit gave me heartburn. I was eating pussy the other night. That shit gave me heartburn. <laughs> But I put chocolate on it, so that's probably why. Uh, Y'all hate your jobs? Anybody got a job you hate? Yeah. I fucking hate my job. Some of you might not know you hate your job. You want to know how you know you hate your job? If you're talking to a co-worker that sounds like you're in prison, like, hey, man, how long you been here for? Four to eight. What about you, six to 12? It fucking sucks. I've been working my job for 17 years now, bro. Grocery, retail grocery. Anybody ever work retail grocery? That shit fucking sucks. I had a baby face when I started that. Uh, I used to love the holidays. I used to believe in God. That shit just killed all that shit. Going on. But um, I think what I hate the most is like oblivious people. I get the stupidest fucking people through my line. Like I get those people with the AirPods that come to my line. I'm like, how are you doing today? Three fucking times. And they don't say shit to me. Yeah, those kind of people, I hope they have the same attention span when they're crossing the fucking street. I hate that. Uh, people's kids too, I can't stand people's fucking kids. If you got kids, don't bring them. That, I mean, that's it. I mean, at least not through my line. Cause I don't play that shit. Get little kids like, hey man, can I have a thicker? Fuck no, you can't have a sticker. Get the fuck out of here. Didn't even help your mom with those groceries, little bastard. I fucking hate people. Uh, tweakers, any tweakers out there? Yeah. No? Some of you might not know your tweakers. If you take blues or perp 30s, you might be a tweaker. Um, but I got cousins there, tweakers. They're pretty cool, man. Especially if you want to just buy shit randomly. Like a brand new TV. I got a new TV the other day for like a hundred bucks, you know. I looked it up, that shit was like a $2,000 TV. Only difference was it didn't come in a box. The shipping was way quicker, though. The tweakers are fucking fast, y'all. Uh, I didn't even plan on talking about tweakers. But uh, I got a cousin who's a tweaker, and he was like having a fit today before I left. He was talking to the ghosts or the spirits. Who the fuck they're talking to when they're talking to themselves? But um, I came out of my room. He's like, you say something, dog? Fuck, no, I ain't say nothing, dog. I just woke up. The fuck, it's four in the morning. I had to take a piss. Shit. But um, anyways, y'all, I'm kind of drawing a blank. I don't even know what the fuck I came here to ranch about. Uh, let's see. What do I got in the arsenal? I feel like the last guy. Fuck. At least he had some shit. I don't have shit. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, I was raised by my Nana, y'all. Give it up for Nana. Yeah. That's right, mother. For my Caucasian people out there. But I was raised by my Nana, man. She brought me up real old school, y'all. She used to give me these things called ass whoopings. I don't know if y'all ever heard about ass whoopings, but she used to fuck me up. That bitch had brass knuckles and shit. It was crazy. And decked me in the face. Right when I get home. Kept me from getting in trouble, though. My nana's is a crazy bitch. Crazy bitches running the family. Um, also, uh, dying early runs the family, you know? So I'm 33, I'm talking about getting older. You guys are like, 33 ain't old. Some of you are probably 40, but in my family, we don't live that long. I know what you're thinking, heart disease, diabetes. Nah, suicide. We like to go out on our own terms. <laughs> That's actually not a joke. Uh, suicide runs in my family, man. It's, it's a trip. But luckily for me, it's on the women's side. The men don't, the men don't have the balls in my family. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, what else? Fuck, man, I got real stone before I got here. Thanks, man. Shout out to this. And the homies, they got me fucked up before I got here. I was just trying to hit Puffco before I got here. Shout out to Puffco. It's a sponsor of mine. 
Not one day, yeah. hopefully. But uh, fuck. That's that's it, y'all. I just came here to rant. Uh, my name's Stephen G. Yeah. Woo! Just like a virgin. You still had two minutes left, sir. <laughs> <laughs>